booming at a place that you may not expect, pawn shops. One particular place in Dallas is seeing interest like they have not seen in years. Customers coming in, selling their belongings. That has not changed. But what has changed is that more and more of them seem to be doing so just to make ends meet. Correspondent Marky Martin joining us live tonight from Dallas with the details on what's becoming a more popular trend. Hey, Marky. Hey, Marnie. Yeah, it's a sign of the times. Times are tough. Inflation is at a 40 year high and people need immediate answers and immediate fixes in order to make ends meet. And one local pawn shop here in Dallas says what's happening inside of their business is a direct economic barometer for what's happening out in the world. It's Monday morning in East Dallas. P&J Pawn Shop has just opened its doors and already customers are streaming in. Patrick Wade has worked here for 34 years and now owns the place. Close to 100 chains, not quite 200 earrings. Every day I help people that don't have help normally. Lending a helping hand has forever been part of pawning. But in the last few months, Wade has watched the industry do a 180. In the past, pawning was a luxury for many of his customers. They do it just out of fun. So they can go either gamble or do something special for their loved one. And that's when I love it the best. And we're not in that moment. No. With inflation at a 40 year high, most are now here out of necessity to make ends meet. How often are you coming here to this uh -huh. job? <laughs> you see, I know everybody here. Patrice Ward has been loyal to P&J for 20 years. Today, she brought in a TV. She's hoping to make some fast cash on. Um, maybe about 160, 170. So I'm hoping to just cover gas, the gas that I need for my vehicle, um, maybe food or whatever I need to get through until my payday. Times are hard and Ward has four kids. While pawning used to be a way for her to upgrade personal items, it now feeds her family. Getting rid of a television opposed to not eating. And she's not alone. I mean, it's probably gonna go straight to my tape. <laughs> Let's be honest, yeah. Jeremy Bonsu just sold his gaming system for 50 bucks. Definitely times are not easy. It's not as easy as it has been, but yeah, so I mean the extra cash definitely helped. And I got a lot of other stuff. I just, because first thing that came to my mind, I was like, well, I have an Xbox. And for AJ Johnson, it was a watch he struggled to part with. The amount of money that I had to work with was so sufficient probably two years ago. But since then, things have gone topsy-turvy. According to the National Pawn Brokers Association, 30 million Americans Americans are unbanked or underbanked. 20% don't have a bank account at all. If you don't have cash and you don't have a credit card, guess what? I'm the next best offer. In the world of pawning, you have three options. Go in as a customer looking to shop. You can sell an item for cash or you can pawn it, meaning you exchange your item for a loan. The store holds on to it and you hope to buy it back with time. Sales are down this year over last year. Matter of fact, in June, I predict that we'll probably be down about 30% from where we were last year. But loans are much higher. Almost double. And the merchandise Wade is seeing come through his doors much grander than what he's seen in the past, from diamond heirlooms to designer purses. Do you usually have this kind of inventory for handbags? We did not used to have them. Five years ago, we did not take purses like this. For Wade, the pawn shop keeps his lights on too, but he's looking forward to the day when business starts to turn. We'll see the good times again where people are just buying for fun. Marnie, it was pretty remarkable. What's also increasing is the number of customers unable to return to buy back those items they initially pawned in the first place. Wade says he tries to help those folks out for as long as he can, but he has to make a profit too. He says it is a direct reflection of the economy, adding he often knows much longer, uh, much earlier before everybody else when the economic tide is starting to turn. Now we'll have to Marnie. check back in with him. Drastic times. All right, Marky, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.